Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my everyday makeup look and if you want to know how I do it then keep on watching this video. So I've already done the base of my makeup, I've primed my face and used my foundation. So I'm just going to move straight onto my eyebrows. And for that I'm going to be using my collection eyebrow kit in the shade Brunette. And I'll be using my brow tool by Eco Tools. And then next I'm going to be priming my eyes using my Wake Me Up Cor Concealer Corrector and that is in the shade Ivory. So for that I'm going to be using my Concealer Brush by Eco Tools. And then on top of that I'm just going to be using my Skin Define Matte Perfect Loose Powder and this is by MUA and with that I'm going to be using my Angled Highlighter Brush. And I'm just going to use this just to set the concealer on my eyes. Next I'm going to be using my Naked Urban, Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay and I'm going to be using the shade 13 just for a base on my eyelids. So then next instead of using an eyeshadow I'm going to be using my MUA bronzer just as a transitional to make it pop just a little bit. And I'll be just going in my crease and just above it as well. And then I'm just going to blend that all out into my crease. And for that I use my base shadow brush by Real Techniques. So next I'm going to be going back into the Naked Smoky palette by Urban Decay. And just using that same 13 shade as I did before. And I'll be just going back onto the base as well. Just for a more neutral look. And then for the outer corner of my eye, I'm just going to be using the shade Radar in the same palette. And then I'm just going to blend that out as well. So for the lower lash line I'm just going to be going back into that bronzer again and just using that same brush again just going along the bottom of my lash line. So next I'm just going to be using again my Wake Me Up Concealer Corrector just to brighten my under eyes. And 
and I get this in the lightest colour just to make my eye stand out a little bit more and I'm also going to be putting my concealer on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and then just underneath my cheekbones just to make those areas stand out more. Then I'm going to be using it on my cupid's bow as well. And just on the sides of my lips, just to make them more defined as well. A little bit too much. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Next I'm going to be going in with my Cover and Conceal palette by Revolution. And I always get the cream one in this because I feel like I can use a cream better than a kind of powder and it just applies really really well so for the cheekbone area I'm just going to be using the darkest colour here which is this one here and I'm just going to be using my fine liner brush just for that because I don't want it to be too thick I just only want a thin line there just like that and then the same on the other side as well so for the jaw area the forehead and the temple area and also the nose I'm going to be using still the same palette I'm just going to be using a different colour so I'm just going to be using for the jaw line and the temples and forehead I'm just going to be using this colour here it's like a tan orangey colour and I'm just going to be applying that with just with a normal foundation brush Oh, and I'm also going to be using it on my cupid's bow and just below the bottom lip as well. So for the, my nose contour, I'm going to be using this darker tan colour instead, just to make my nose more defined and look a little bit smaller. And I'm going to be using this small concealer brush for it as well. So I do like to contour my nose because I don't like how big it is so I like it to look a little bit smaller than what it is. So with all of this I'm going to be blending it out with my Beauty Blender and just dabbing away at it. And then just to set all those um, highlighted areas, I'm just going to be going back into it with my MUA Skin Define Matte Perfect Loose Powder. I'm not going to rub it in straight away, I'm just going to sit, let it sit there for a few seconds. After that's set for a few seconds, I'm just going to wipe it away with the same brush I used before, which is the Angled Highlighter Brush by Real Techniques. And then for my bronzer I'm going to be using the same one that I use on my as my eyeshadow. So it's the MUA bronzer in the shade, which I forgot to mention before, in the shade 2. And for that I'm going to be using my multitask brush, which looks like this. So I'm just going to be applying that just where my cheekbone is, on my jawline, on my forehead, on my temples as well. The same where I put my contour, just not as much, just lightly.
I'm just going to put a little bit on my nose as well where my nose contour is. And I'm just going to go in with this brush. And this is the Natural Blending Brush. And the brush isn't that good because it's molting all over my face. So next I'm going to be going in with the blush and I'm going to be using my e.l.f. blush in the shade Tickled Pink. I'm just going to be using a normal angled brush from e.l.f. as well. And I'm just going to apply this on the apples of my cheeks. So next on my highlighter I'm going to be using my MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter and this is in the shade Opal Sun Amber, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure and I'm going to be using a normal blush brush just to apply that on and I'm just going to be putting it again on the tops of my cheekbone on both sides, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on the temples and then a little bit on my forehead and also on my cupid's bow as well And that is very pigmented as well. <laughs> just so it's not too pigmented around this area, I'm just going to blend it all out. It's a little bit too much. So to blend it all out, I'm just going to be going in with my blush brush by Eco Tools. And this is really soft on your skin as well. And then going in with my two favourite mascaras. On the top lash I'm going to be using my Their Real Benefit Mascara. And then on the bottom lash I'm going to be using my Lengthening and Voluming Mascara by e.l.f. And this is my finished look. 